Okay, now welcome to the summary of our footwear community for the past six years. Uh, okay, now let's look at our good result. Uh, so first one is our red, uh, our net revenue. Uh, let's see this overall increase. Uh, in the beginning of the year 10, our net revenue uh, was 200 and uh, 50 million dollars and in the end of the year 16 our net revenue began to uh, began to be 546 and for our stock price we increased that from the 30 to 122 million dollars for our market share we increased that from 12 percent to 80 percent and for our credit rating and image rating we always behaved uh, beyond investor expectation. And now let me introduce our strategy. The, uh, at the beginning of the, our operation, we plan our strategy as high SQ rating, low models, and high price. We plan to use this high price to cover our uh, high cost and get more net revenue. But after three years, we began to find our uh, competitive, uh, competitive weakness. So we began to increase the SQ rating more quickly and increase our models and began to uh, down our price to increase our performance and price ratio. So now let our operation manager to introduce their operations. Uh, so next is our operational parts of, of our business games. Uh, we, we are in charge of the first part of our companies. Uh, it includes corporate citizenship, sales forecast, uh, plant upgrade, and branded productions. Uh, so the first I, I want to introduce is the corporate citizenship. We do focus on the ethnic training and the labor diversity. It's just to increase our image rating. And next is our uh, sales forecast. Uh, we, we, we include the high price strategies. Uh, then is our plant upgrade. For the first three years, uh, we do focus on the uh, AP plants and to, to, to just to upgrade, uh, upgrade uh, for uh, for the every uh, three years. And for the final years, uh, we do focus on the EA plants. Is the, to, to just to increase the, the market share of the world. Um, and the, and the last part is our branded productions. Uh, as as we as we all know, and we implement the uh, high SQ rating and low models. So at the beginnings, uh, we, we we try to set our SQ rating from six to seven, and try to do anything to keep keep that. And the models we uh, models we try to keep them from uh, one hundred models. Okay. So next is our uh, next three years of our company's uh, strategies. And after analyzing our company's three-year operation reports and our market uh, snapshot in each region compared to others, we decided to change our strategy and focus on market share. And as for plant capacity and upgrades, we only choose to upgrade our for, uh, worker productivity in AP plant in order to make it a big manufacturer uh, factory and transfer products as needed. Because it is our lowest cost plant and the transferring fee is relatively low. And for branded production, uh, we put ourselves into a relatively uh, high SQ rating and average price uh, position. So we add our uh, numbers of models to 150. And for NA and EA plants, we upgraded SQ rating to 9 stars by increasing the percentage of superior materials. And we increase AP plant to eight stars to maintain a low cost and produce more. Uh, now it comes to the part of marketing. The first I want to introduce the celebrity endorsement. First, um, it's more like the use of game theory because we need to know which celebrity that we want to be. And we also should, like after targeting the celebrities, we should also analyze which, which strategy of our writers and which celebrity that they want to be. And we should get how much they want to be those celebrities and who they want to be. So it's like more like based on the uh, celebrity information. So usually we be the first one have rather high influence among uh, all the regions. 
And the second one, we will choose the celebrity who has the, like, much lower influence. And the third one should have the influence between the two. And we start a line to make sure that we will at least have this one and this one, or this one and this one. And sometimes it will be the first one. If we beat the, the first one, and we need to change the line, the line setting, so that we will not waste too much time a money on the celebrity. You mentioned two areas, Latin American and North America. So it's because of this, in those two areas, we have very strong performance, not to, like, inside the company, but also uh, in the whole industry. So we have very strong performance. That's why we put uh, a lot of advertising investment in Latin America. But for North America, we don't put a lot of advertising in investment. Actually, it's like the lowest the lowest during the fall areas because we found that we need to input a huge amount of advertising investment to only have a, a less increase, like a very little increase in the market share. That's why we don't put a lot of advertising investment in North America. So the next part is the financial summary of the past six years. Our general rule for the financial investments is both to issue stocks and take long-term platform to get additional cash for expansion, such as building new capacity and upgrading our plans to boost SQ ratings. However, at the end of year 30, our company's stock price was below the industry average, so we decided to re repurchase the stocks and get the financial support mainly from the long-term backlog. Regarding to the results of performance on credit rating measures, we adjust our 5-year and 10-year debt to make sure the interest coverage ratio was below 2.5, the debt to asset ratio was below 0.4, and default risk and low level. And then, in the meantime, we have enough money time to ensure our production capacity. Also, as we generate more and more net revenues through years, we decided to increase the dividends in the last few years. A few lessons that we learned from this business game. The first is about teamwork. Because at the beginning, we uh, finish each task uh, separately. And we don't check you know, what the other's uh, decisions, so we don't make comments, we don't uh, share exper experience and opinions. But it's like, you know, of course, we have um, undesirable results. And then we decide to uh, work together and make all decisions together. And we have not only have a better uh, results, more, like, it's more important that we have fun together. And second, it's about rules. Everything has its rules. Like, it's difficult for us to finish anything if we don't know the rules. That is why we, we have a like, stable stage because of the revenue. If you still remember that our re revenue has this line, and that's because our private level. We don't know how to do this part, and we, we don't have time to read these like, uh, introductions and the gap. And it's very bad, and don't never learn from learn like us. And the third part is about time. Actually, we missed a deadline. It, it's in year 15. Yeah, and we don't make any marketing decisions. It makes our revenue like go down and uh, have bad image and uh, have bad credit rating. So that's all the lesson that we learn from the business game. Anyone have some suggestion for this uh, business game? Uh, yes, as you said before, like teamwork is crucial for the business game as well as for the company. So team members are the key part for team working. And I think AP board is more than needed to make a sufficient group. And since it was hard to get everyone involved equally and arrange meetings. And second is the time allocation of this course. I think this course, I wish this course could have a better shape. But it was hard for us to take the course over two semesters and have to do part of the business decisions during the holiday time. It was really hard for group working and it's hard to meet team members during the holidays and without caution after each decisions. Yeah, I totally agree with you.